Hello there, everybody. My name is Alf Wolf, and welcome to SCP Containment Breach. Now, this is the Unity version. This is the new uh, sort of Unity remake of it. Uh, and a little bit of a backstory on this. I watched Markiplier play the original SCP Containment Breach as, like, my first introduction into YouTube. Like, I didn't know what YouTube was, and then one of my friends was like, Oh, there's this guy, Markiplier. There's this really cool, like, series thing that I, I think you'll enjoy. It's super scary. And I'm like, okay, I'll take a look. And then it went on this YouTube thing. And then I'm like, oh, this guy's really funny. And this game's scary. And that was, like, my first introduction into the world of YouTubers and things like that. SCP Containment Breach, I kind of like developed online with this game so to speak I guess because it was really the first thing I ever encountered so this whole game holds a very very special place in my terrified soul so I mean I'm absolutely dreading going into it but at the same time I'm pumped because I I loved looking at the last one so we'll see if I uh, freak out and die player name D9341. No, we're just gonna go Alf. Alf. Leave blank for a random seed. Okay. I mean, I don't know what seeds are good. SCP-178 is a pair of white stereoscopic 3D glasses with a rectangle white cardboard flame. Yeah, okay. Item exhibit with no unusual physical properties apart from a slight discoloration. When worn, the wearer begins perceiving large bipedal entities in addition to its ordinary surroundings. Entities re reportedly exhibit a docile and occasionally curious behavior. Reports now include entities leaning over the shoulders of persons working and observing them with interest. With one exception, during experimentation, subjects reported... The oh, click to continue. Cool, I don't need to rush through this. Subjects reported that the objects possess two additional upper appendages and ending in long conical protrusions and a smooth head. Subjects also reported the entity to, ha to be hideous and had too many eyes. Any attempt by the wearer or any other personnel to directly interact with these entities results in severe lacerations suddenly appearing on persons involved. The appearance of lacerations is rapid and continues until the moment the wearer expires. Expires, so does that mean I die? Let's hope I don't put on any glasses then. Okay, that's a bit better. Okay, so I have no I How do I just blink on my own? I think there's a way you can blink on your own, but I can't remember what it is. Oh, okay, it's space. Okay. Okay, so this is SCP-173. This is the one that it's, like, mostly based on. Oh, you don't have a gun, dude? Come on, seriously. I mean, it's not like a gun would do anything to this. Uh, 173? 173? Okay, 173 is not in there. That means he's out and about, which is bad for my health. Speaking of health, there's a little first aid station. Nice. 173! 173! Hello? Oh, these are two different SCPs. Damn, I don't know what any of these SCPs do. I don't know if it's safe to open these ones. Okay. I mean, you gotta imagine, like, if it was a more dangerous SCP, they'd have more than just a hand lock. It's a box. Okay, so that other thing is gone. Because I guess it's just sitting... There was supposed to be something sitting on it, I guess? God, this is giving me heebie-jeebies. I'm not even sure what I'm supposed to be doing here. Other than, you know, secure, containing, and protecting. What is that sound? I don't want to know what that sound is. 
Someone's breathing! Someone's breathing! How do I... Uh... Codex, okay. Uh... God, this is fucking wigging me out. Uh, SCP-714 is to be stored in a reinforced high-security locker that is accessible only to level 4 plus personnel due to several in incidents of misuse. Seemingly nothing more than a green jade ring, SCP-714 has been shown to be able to expand and contract to perfectly fit the finger of the person who... touches it. Though this is the least important of its properties, 714 only changes size when touched by a new subject. Exhaustion, compulsion to rest or sleep. Within minutes of putting on 713, wearers report feeling worn out, physically and mentally exhausted. Slowed reactions, sluggish movement, subjects suffer from severely impaired reaction times, unnormal, unnormally sharp. Reduce mental capacity seeming as part of the mental fatigue. Anyone wearing S or wearing 174 claims to think slowly or may have trouble finding the words to adequately communicate that they cannot think as clearly as normal. Mental shield. As a dubious benefit of seemingly reduced mental capacity, wearers of 714 show abnormally high resilience to mimetic and mental influ influences particularly commands or immediate effects. Where weaker, ugh, weaker memetic influences may be totally nullified by this chemical tolerance, just as their mind blocks the memetic influences, the bodies of 714 wearers slows and nullifies the effects of various chemicals on the body. Fully poisonous or toxic substances are generally not hindered, but those that specifically impede or enhance and or neural and or nervous functions in some way, such as stimulants and sedatives, have very diminished effects. Okay, so... Oh, I could have read it here. Okay, I'm not... Fine. So, it seems that that SCP, the ring... Oh my god, what just happened? Hi! Who are you? Who are you? What are you doing here? I'm just gonna say bye. Uh, uh, run away, run away, run away, run away. What was that guy? He was creepy. Okay. Ah! What are you? What are you? I don't remember much. Uh oh, he's gone. Uh oh. That's not good. Ah! Hi. Hi. Uh, what do I do? What do I do? What do I do? Ah! <laughs> Euclid. Teleportation effect. How did he... How did he get out? Is he dangerous? How do I find out? Hi. You're creepy as fuck, that's for sure. Hi! How do I get rid of you? Are you just hanging out? Are you cool? Are you my little buddy? Are you just gonna chill with me? Hey, bro, do you wanna hop in the elevator? You wanna come with? I'm trying to get out of here. Do you do you know the way? Do you, do you know how to get out of here? You can come in. Yeah, come on. Come on, bro. I was a little scared of you at first, but I think you're cool. You're not gonna come in? 
Oh, oh, this is your floor? Oh, okay. Sorry. Okay, bye. I'll see you later, dude. Okay, I guess he was cool. Okay, go, go, go. I am dying. Hey, dude, uh, I'm just going back down. Uh, I can't go up, so I'm gonna go down farther. Because I think I've explored everything here. I just clicked the wrong button. Go, 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 go. I can't, I can't. I, uh, I'm gonna die if I stay here. Oh, no. No. Do I have to wear the ring? I think I have to wear the ring. Do you want to come with me and get the ring, dude? Come on, bud. Buddy, are you coming with me? I'm gonna go get a ring. Oh, I can go this way. Okay, I don't even need to leave my buddy. Or I guess he'll just chill there. I'm so close to dead. That was louder than the other ones. I still haven't seen uh, 173. Okay, is this gonna be covered in poison fog? Cause I'm gonna die if that's the case. Like I'll, I will die instantly if that is. Oh, yep, 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 yep. Go, 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 go. Yep. Well, that could have gone better, couldn't it? Okay. That's where I'm going to end this one. I don't want these episodes to be too long, and I didn't make any progress in this one, so I apologize. But hopefully you guys were still entertained nonetheless. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked it, please rip that like button to shreds and subscribe if you're new. And let me know if you want me to do more SCP Containment Breach. I love this game. I loved it when I watched it. Uh, it's a little bit more, you know, heart-rending for me to actually play it. Not, not heart-rending. <laughs> heart palpitizing i i freak out when i play it okay let's i am i am an anxietized little bitch so anyways thank you guys and i will see you in the next video alpha wolf out peace